Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and if you were watching yesterday, you saw this gun. Uh, this is h &R's, one of H&R's experimental M14s, so that they were tinkering around with folding stocks and short barrels and all sorts of jungle sort of adaptations. Well, the guy who owned it put a standard M14 barrel and gas system on it, and uh, has shot it extensively like that. Well, I don't know about extensively, he shot it that way. And I've never shot a full auto M14, and in fact most people have not shot full auto M14s, because as common and easily accessible as the semi-auto M1A is, the M14 is actually a fairly scarce rifle. So we figured we'd bring this out today and see what it's like to actually shoot one, because I'll tell you what, I've heard the rumors, and I suspect a lot of you have too, that these are not super controllable in full auto. Now the question for me is, is that because, is that a rumor that comes from people who just haven't shot many rifle caliber assault rifle battle rifles, um, because maybe, uh, you know, G3s, Fowls, AR-10s, all those things are a real handful to shoot, but some are worse than others. So we're going to see how this one is. Do, 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 do. Come on, get in there. There we go. So 20 rounds. I have it set on full auto. Let's see how this goes. Uh -oh. Okay, so I'm going to say the rumors are true. Uh, this is a re really a lot of a handful of gun. Uh, this thing jumps around all over the place and grays out your world when you pull that trigger on full auto. Uh, I think people who uh, who enjoy shooting the M1A or who enjoy shooting the M14 do so mostly in semi-auto. The United States really designed a nice target rifle here, something that would excel on the, the 600 yard known distance range. If you flip this to full auto and expect it to replace a BAR or even worse a 1919 A6, you're in for a big surprise because geez this thing is hard to shoot. Psych myself up for this. Here we go! Ah. Ah. Dang. Wow. All right, if I wanted to have a nice day of shooting, we're going to take this lever and we're going to push it in and we're going to rotate it 180. And then... That, in my opinion, is how best to appreciate and use an M14. But, of course, if you don't want to do that, if you want to go balls to the wall with this thing, well, if you think you can shoot it better than some dang long-haired hippie type, you are welcome to be my guest. This thing is coming up for sale, of course, at the Morphe Auction House. In the description text below I have a link to ForgottenWeapons.com, and from there you can uh, find a link over to the Morphe catalog, where you can find the pictures, the description, uh, everything you would need to know about this gun. It is a registered, transferable, legal, full-auto M14, actually an H&R Experimental M14. And of course, check out yesterday's video for all the details on the, the history and the other bits to this gun that come with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This should be good to uh, not go over the berm. Whoa!